top of Georgia Hostel, back porch, enjoying the view with morning coffee. This is where we say goodbye to Melissa. She's going home. <laughs> We've enjoyed her company. Absolutely. Bye, Melissa. Bye. It's not 27 pounds, I'll tell you that. 35. 35 pounds? Over 35. So, but uh, I'm sitting at 35. Do you have any water in there? Mm -hmm. So, uh, two liters. but that's with seven days with food. So, we're good. A little heavier than I like to be, but we're good. Just left the uh, top of Georgia Hostel. Some great through hiking advice from former through hiker Sir Paxalot. He owns the uh, complex top of Georgia Hostel. Um, it was a great stay. Nice, clean, friendly staff. Really enjoyed our stay there. I know Paula said. Uh, you know, she did not want to stay at a hostel along the way, but after all that rain, we were willing. And I got to tell you, he and his crew set the bar pretty high as far as hostels go. So hats off to that. Anyways, we're on our way out of, caught the shuttle to Dix Creek Gap and uh, making our way up. We're somewhere seven, eight miles from the North Carolina border. And uh, there's a reason you don't see too many videos of people walking uphill. You can probably hear it in my breath. But uh, yeah, we're kind of hoping we'll hit the border tonight. It didn't get started until about 2.30 this afternoon. And uh, it's been a good hike. So, uh, Working our way up, and uh, we'll see you later. Some of the uh, burnt out sections we're walking through this morning. A little bit of rain and overcast. Par for the course for this trip so far. But um, yeah, a lot of acreage was burned up this way last October, November. It's kind of neat seeing everything come back to life. It's very cool. And there's Miss Paula. What is she doing? Who? You. Getting yourself all adjusted? Huh? We're seven tenths of a mile into a 14 plus day. mile day today. Yeah. So. And look at all this that got burned last year. I know, huh? You know, it's funny because I was thinking last night if we struck out that we would camp up here. Right. But with what Bob had said, you know, how close they had to, to evacuate the hostel last year. Loaded up all the furniture, etc. But um didn't get that close. Well, you know, within a half a mile. Not that close. So that for me? I certainly can. We'll see you later.
foggy it is. I'm literally walking in a cloud. A little drizzly, but it's coming off the trees. Look how cloudy. That is so cool. Show you the top of the trees. I don't dare throw the view out to the side because it's just what's out there. Who knows? Okay, so we're down the trail. We made it. Ta da! North Carolina, here we come. This is a little sign right here in case you can't see it. I'm standing on the North Carolina side. I'm on the Georgia side. Exactly. The great state of Georgia. We'll never, we'll never cross it again in our travels on the AT so this is kind of a big deal so want to thank you for joining us along this way and uh, as you can see it's still a rainy day but it makes for a nice cool walking although the humidity level is up there yes and um, anyways we'll see you further up one the trail. down 13 to go <laughs> How's everybody doing? Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome. So Betty moves on. Yeah. Did your legs get wet? My legs got wet. She was here when I got here and she left about 15 minutes ago. Is this your second nap today? No. We got here at 1.30. Did ya? Well, we had a great lunch. Stopped at Muscrete Muskrat Shelter. And uh, met up with a guy from Scotland and a guy from uh, Manchester, England. And uh, parted away with a couple of friends that we've met that uh, they're getting off at Franklin. Maybe getting back on, but we're starting to put more miles on than uh, they're going to be doing. So we said our goodbyes. And... Uh, Still raining out, in case you haven't guessed. But um, we have about another uh, five miles to the uh, our next shelter, which is Indian Standing, I think. But um, 
probably about mile six into uh, North Carolina. So uh, weather forecast for tomorrow is for better weather. And uh, I know everybody that lives around here is really appreciating the rain because it's been kind of a drought condition, but it's kind of tough walking in it all day long. When we get done here, it'll be a 12 mile day, I think, in the rain. 12, 13. So I'll be glad to have another cup of hot tea and some dinner and uh, call it a night. But uh, I may have another posting when we get there. All right, see you in a bit.